Hi, and welcome back to Experience Inspirations. Press your way right on in. Press your way right on in. And remember through prayer and supplication and studying of your word each day to press your way. If you're new to the channel, Inspirations welcomes you. It's always my prayer, Heavenly Father, that the scriptures and topic we discuss here on Inspirations be an uplifting and encouragement to you and that you'll share it out to someone close to you. So let's talk about it. Yes, indeed, I have not been on. But let me explain some to you. And let me ask you, let's go into prayer for those that are still enduring at this current time. And what they're enduring is, here in Florida, Tallahassee particularly, we had a two, three tornadoes to land. And they was characterized as an E4. I'm not sure. I know the winds was well over 150 miles per hour in some areas. And the landing sites are beyond describable words. It just looked like someone went through with a piece of paper, a razor, and was just cutting and topping off trees and poles. So let's keep those that still without power now, have lost their food, or lose, have lost their homes, cars, and prayer, because that's something that's meant to them. And so many of us take it for granted each and every day to have a home, to have a vehicle, to have life. So let's ask God to keep these individuals and all of us uplifted as well as those in Houston, Texas and other cities and states that are battling climate control at this current time. Which leads me to the topic of discussion which is, excuse me, Thanksgiving in the midst of adversity. Thanksgiving in the midst of adversity. Sorry if I was looking up, my apologies. The primary scripture and focus is going to be first these EOs and five 16 through 18. Definition of gratitude. Gratitude comes when everything is going our way. But 1 Thessalonians 5 and 18 says, And everything give thanks. Everything give thanks. Sometimes we may let our situations extinguish our gratefulness, our grateful spirit. It happens. I, I can attest it happens. We Yet when we focus our pain, confusion, and begin to doubt God, He already knows. That's why He continually wants us to give thanks in every circumstance. When we choose to be thankful in every situation, guess what? Despite our feelings, we weep many benefits. Which leads me to talk about two very strong factual scriptures that I want to share with you all that speaks about gratitude in a believer's life. The first one is First Thessalonians in 5 and 18. And everything give thanks for the Lord for this is God and the will for you in Christ Jesus. The Lord desires for us to have a grateful spirit. Yes, he does. Secondly, Ephesians 5 and 20, which says always, not sometimes, always give thanks for all things in the name of the, our Lord Jesus Christ to God, even the Father. Hmm. That includes anything that is contrary to God's nature or his commands. Give thanks. Why should we be grateful to God in everything? I'm glad you asked. Let me jot these points down to you. It keeps us continually aware that we're walking in his presence, which contributes to a godly life. Next, gratitude motivates us to look at the Lord's purpose in everything that happens. Next, being grateful brings us under to submission to God's will when we're suffering pain and heartache. Being thankful reminds us of our continual dependence upon the Lord. Grateful helps us trust the Lord when we don't understand why. Thanksgiving is essential for rejoicing in the midst of suffering. 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 and 18. God hears and understands the depth of our agony. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. As he understood Jesus' pain when he cried out to him in Matthew 27 and 46. My God. My God, 
Why have you forsaken me? Next, gratitude to God is difficult. Gratitude towards God in difficult times gives our witness a greater impact. Thanksgiving displaces anxiety. With Thanksgiving displaces anxiety with peace. Thanksgiving focuses on our attention on God rather than our circumstances. And lastly, gratitude energizes us physically, emotionally, and spiritually in difficult times. Focusing on God and thanking Him refreshes us. His presence within us renews us physically. Yes, it does, spiritually and emotionally. So keep going. Look to the hills from which cometh your help. Know that just like he answered Jesus, and that's his son, he hears your cries, he knows of your agony, and he's going to deliver. Be in faith. Be in expectation. I'm going to leave you with a question before I go. When adversity or suffering occur in your life, do you tend to judge God on that circumstance? Hmm. Or that situation? Or do you look for a scripture that's similar to what you're enduring and see what is God telling you through that scripture? Try it and see. You'll be amazed. From experience inspiration, it's always my prayer that the scriptures and topics we discuss here on Inspirations being uplifting and encouragement to you and that you'll share it out to someone close to you. I love each and every one of you all. And it's my prayer that you press your way, press your way each and every day through prayer and supplication. Like, comment, and subscribe. Share it out. Until the next video, I love you.